Hi Sag, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your reading for February, <clears throat> what did I write? 7th to the 13th. I'm using the Smith Waite Tarot deck. And this is a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 7th to the 13th. I'm going to shuffle the cards and see what messages Spirit has. I'm going to take a sip. <clears throat> All right. Spirit guys, can we please get a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 7th to the 13th? <clears throat> In love and romance. What does Sag need to know, please? Thank you so much. What does Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? In love and romance for February 7th to the 13th. What does Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know? There we go. First card out. Thank you. We have judgment. So some, some realization that you've come to. On the bottom, we have healing after a breakup or some kind of loss, getting your energy up. It could be just as simple as being tired. So judgment, there's Angel Gabriel. Blowing the horn, waking the dead, judgment comes. So this could be a realization, a shocker, some news coming in, a decision made, a judgment call. Could be someone from your past coming back too, just because it's like about raising the dead. Someone that was long gone that you thought was out of the picture. And it being <clears throat> some kind of sudden news that you, they're back. So let's see, what else is there, please? Four, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For February 7th to the 13th. There we go. We've got Queen of Swords. And that speaks to feeling... Okay, Ace of Wands. You might be um, a single mom, a divorcee. Or someone who works in a field or career where communication is very important. It could be a journalist, a teacher, a businesswoman, something. But generally speaking, the Queen of Swords has a vibe of someone who's very straightforward, logical, and doesn't like to um, play games. Doesn't like, ooh, this was like that. And this one's face down. Strange. Oh, King of Cups. It was like this. Maybe that means it's a passionate connection right now, but love will come later. But we'll just see. So this is about passion and virility and inspiration. Um, this feels like with these two together, you know, and I'll just leave the Three of Swords. Where was that? Three of Four of Swords. I'll leave the Four of Swords as a clarifier for the first card, which is something I usually do. I don't know why I decided to switch it up. But let's just do that. So the Queen of Swords gave me the energy of somebody who is more focused on career and more focused on um, themselves. Now, if someone amazing should happen to come by their way, they're not stupid. They're going to take them up on it. But because I see the Four of Swords clarifying judgment, it's recovering. Recovering from some past hurt or some loss or some disappointment. So the Queen of Swords looks like she just wants to have some fun. Maybe she thinks this, it makes sense. Like I just, I need to, <clears throat> I'm still alive. I still need to have fun. I still need to, you know, get out there a little bit. So... It's very much where your heart is under control. There's, there's no, there's no losing yourself. Um, it's, it is a, it looks like there's somebody that you might find passionate or attractive in that way, but it doesn't look like a love connection yet, which is really curious why the King of Cups was face down in this deck when nothing else was face down. So let's see what else there is. I mean, it could be something that 
was a hookup that turns into love. But let's just keep going. Queen of Swords. She's got the sword, which is really, she says things very straightforward. She won't waste time or mince words. And, you know, one hand is beckoning the people forward or whoever it is that's interested forward. And the other hand has a huge intimidating sword. All right, Sag, what else do we have for February 7th to the 13th? It looks like you want to have fun. It looks like there's somebody that you think is attractive or hot. Or that you have the hots for or that you feel like it could be fun. But... And, and maybe they'll call you or you call them. Let's see. What else do we have for Sag? For February 7th to the 13th, what else do we have? Or it could be just a hookup too with the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Let's see how it develops. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, so this is closed off, unreceptive, being focused on the past, maybe with a Justice card on the bottom. Some issue of injustice, something that happened that left a bad feeling, something that has you feel like was a, an unfair situation that's got you all caught up. And maybe that's an ex who maybe was not so great or some legal matter. Maybe you're caught up in um, the paperwork still if you're separating or there's custody issues or something. We have Three of Pentacles and the Emperor. So collaboration, working with somebody else, working well. This is a card for artists as well as this might be a third party situation because it is a love reading. And on the bottom we have the world. So the world is about a karmic cycle coming to an end, completion of a cycle. Or it could be about, you know, stepping out, traveling, global concerns. So the emperor looks like somebody older. And we got here the four of cups, a cup being offered, but the person's too caught up in the past. Like maybe it looks like maybe it's a love offer. I, I was getting that vibe. It could be a love offer coming into you, but you just want to have fun and pass time with the three of cups. Three of cups is very celebratory. So what's with the three? Can, who's this emperor? Let's clarify the emperor. Who's the emperor? Is it, Who is the emperor? Who is the emperor? Can you please click? There we go. Eight of wands. Okay. That's a lot of excitement and opportunities coming in and news coming in quickly. Can we clarify the emperor? high energy a lot of passion too nine of wands eight and nine of wands blocking maybe again juggling two people clarifying that let's keep going can we clarify Ooh. okay it says leaving six of swords and on the bottom wanting more leaving and wanting more leaving and wanting more Love, this is a this is a separate card. This is a separate card that they've added to this deck. I think there's a few other cards that they added. I'll read it to you. It's on in the beginning. Mm -hmm. As a way of introducing those who may be less familiar with Pixie's background, we have included in this deck two samples of her non-tarot art from our collection. The first is an illustration for Little Charles, a children's book by Mrs. Barbold. Barbold? I don't know. Pamela printed this scene in the green sheaf, number 4, 1903. The other is an illustration for Scene from Deidre. Act three with the original caption. Do you not see them? The bright birds which sing at our flight. Look at how they wheel about us as they sing in the green sheaf. Number seven, 
Supplement 1903. So I guess this is artwork from 1903 by Pamela Coleman. And it's saying it's an illustration for a scene from Deirdre, Act 3. Do you not see them, the bright birds, which sing at our flight? Look at how they wheel about us as they sing in the green shift. Sheaf, sorry, number seven, supplement 1903. Hmm. So there's the birds. I guess it's, it's another, I thought it was the lover's card, their take on the lover's card originally. But I'm not familiar with that, so I'm going to have to look it up. Can we clarify this? Can we clarify this card? And then the Knight of Swords. Someone coming in very quickly and very aggressively. Looks like they want to cause problems, possibly. Break it up. Oh, and it's, it's not reversed, don't worry. Ten of Pentacles, it's over money. It's over money, and this can be a card of inheritance or um, a commitment. This is the ultimate commitment because this is the castle, the legacy, lineage, inheritance, grandkids, grandfather, the married couple, the estate, all of that. So you're leaving wanting more. Look, fear restriction and news there's something being hidden well isn't this a mystery i don't think you want to take this seriously but they want to take it seriously they want to commit but you're not taking it seriously you're not healed yet because you're four of swords it looks like you still need to get your energy back up and maybe that this big decision with the judgment card maybe it was shocking news maybe you made the judgment call somebody's saying something big to you um because justice also can be about marriage and divorce and legal matters hmm Wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment, and yeah, and the Ace of Pentacles. So it looks like wanting to offer a commitment, wanting, like somebody is going to, you're the, either you're their wish come true or they're going to want to, you know, offer a ring, move in together, get a house together, something, something big. And yeah, it's not fulfilling. Eight of Cups on the bottom. You already know this is the High Priestess. So, Sag, it looks like... I, I, sorry about the roller coaster ride. And there's the clarity over there with the Sun card. It looks like somebody is really... Like somebody that you were having fun with. Somebody that you thought was exciting to be around. And passionate. A passionate connection type situation. Um, someone to go out with. Go on dates with. Um have drinks and hang out with, whatever. And somehow it's grown, this relationship. And they want to take it seriously, but you just want to... It, it looks like here, like you've been, you've been straight up about your intentions the entire time. That you're having fun. You know, there's no strings. And, you know, you are letting them know everything up front so that you don't have any bad karma later when you're not interested in locking things down. And and it's almost like you know that they probably are going to fall for you. Maybe this is something that happens often. And here, you're focused on another situation where even though they're offering the cup to you, their cup, you're not, you're not even like checking for it. You're not even looking at it because you're too engrossed in the Three of Cups. And Three of Cups, like I said, it's a celebratory card drinking going out with your friends having fun partying if you're older because the queen of swords is older it could be just wanting to enjoy life and celebrate your success or celebrate yourself and the justice card clarifying that is there's some kind of balance that needs to be restored to your life an adjustment made 
and there could be still some legal matters with your ex for some of you that could still needs to be hashed out and figured out. And maybe that's the third party situation with the three of pentacles because the emperor is there and emperor is someone you know if it's not you and you having your own business or feeling like a powerful person who has authority or your boss that type of energy then it could be somebody who is either an aries or a scorpio doesn't have to be but somebody who's old school has authority power it could be somebody who is your ex i feel like and that cycle coming to a completion with a world card with that person. And that Eight of Wands clarifying this, it could be this new excitement and energy of enthusiasm and looking forward to what's coming next. And then the Nine of Wands, though, is giving more of that wounded energy of, of the Four of Swords, of the Queen of Swords. Um, it's, it's blocking, blocking things from getting in. It's not, it's just it, like this card, Four of Cups, is being closed off unreceptive. Here, still, it's called the Wounded Warrior card, this Nine of Wands. Because you are still not over the past hurt, you're, you're not trusting, your guard is not down, and you're vigilantly guarding your life. And this Two of Pentacles here, again, it could speak to the Three of Pentacles. You're trying to find balance, trying to um, keep things going, being very busy, not wanting to drop the ball with anything that's going on in your life. So having to be really focused and skillfully managing everything, which you can do. And here is like leaving, leaving and wanting more. And then you have this situation. And even with the, the question in the quote was, can you not see the birds and da, 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 whatever else? It looks like they want to come in. And I thought this was an aggressive energy, but when it was clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, it looks like they want to really lock it down and commit. You're scared, cold feet, and, you know, fear, worry. The moon card is your hidden fears. There's the fear. And page of, page of wands, sorry, page of wands might be somebody, you, you might have a kid. Could be a page of wands if it's an air sign child. Or it could be that you're just receiving news and, or you're relaying the news and that you're scared, cold feet, don't want to, whatever it is. Or you're scared that they've told you this. And here's the wish card and the ace of pentacles. Like it's a good offer. But you're walking away because you already know. It's the high priestess says, trust your gut, trust your intuition. You already know the answer to the question you're, you're seeking. Ugh. Okay, so let's pull a card from Amir Ceylon's Love Oracle. Okay, please get some clarification for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There we go. Communication. Yep, communication's coming in. That's that page of wands. Oh, travel. And that came over here, which the globe in the hand, it could speak to wanting more. One castle, one wand is fixed to the castle right over here. The under, other wand is free. So that card does often come up if you want to travel, see the world, do things. Be free. Not have any set plan right now. Needing to heal and get your energy back up. So there could be travel that you want to... I'll just leave it there. You might be wanting to travel. You might have a long distance romance later on down the road. What else is there? Anything else that Sag needs to know? Anything else that Sag, woo, mature man. And that looks like it's the emperor and this, this offer here from the mature man. This is somebody who is older or mature or young and, you know, whatever age, but they act mature for their age. Um, and they could, you know, also be balding. I think that was in the description as well. All right. This is the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. To shuffle on camera. All right. Can we please clarify Romance Angels? Can we please clarify? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life on the bottom heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so reconciliation does not mean that you're going to get back together per se you deserve love you're lovable passion yeah it's a passionate connection allow your heart and soul to sing with joy 
So reconciliation is saying that, you know, there has that there's going to be um, peace made. You could, for some of you, get back together with the person. And for others, it could be where, you know, you have a heart to heart conversation about how things went, what went wrong, whatever. And, and you guys make peace. And here it's saying you deserve love, you're lovable. And passion to spark your passion is it says to do things like not just have to wait for a partner for passion but to um pursue your own passionate interests your passions and that puts you in that vibration of attracting more and more of what you seek that excitement that excitement for life type thing all right any final messages please for sagittarius sorry any final messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 7th to the 13th? And heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Honestly, it does look like you have the choice, Sag. Whatever you want to do here, they want to they want to reconcile. They want to um commit. They want to be with you. It looks like you have other plans. And you're not healed, to be honest. When I look at the 4 of swords, the 9 of wands, it looks like you're, and the fact that you want to heal, there's definitely an energy of you want to do this, like you want to bring the passion back into your life and be happy. And whatever is not making you happy like that, you're ready to walk away from now. Keep an open mind, pay attention to the red flags. I'm just going to end it there. So with these two, it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, you know, different culture, different looks, different type. And also, it says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So this card is really straight up comes to when somebody, and it gives me the vibe of when somebody, let's say you're a guy, and you get this card. It's like you're trying to date someone younger and they're, you know, fun to look at, like a trophy girlfriend or wife or whatever. And you, or trophy girlfriend, let's say. And then mm, their behavior, because they're immature and they're not um, your age or your maturity level, that they do things like they're rude to people who can't really do anything for them. And it gives examples like the wait staff or the valet or whatever, so on. So when it comes to um, you getting this card, pay attention to the red flags, it gives an energy of there is a passionate connection here, but there's something, something that's like sneaky, not trustworthy. There's fear here. As you can see, the eight of swords, the communication coming in and the moon card, hidden feelings, subconscious, um, worry, sometimes anxiety, depression, and your dreams. Um, you might be having a lot of dreams as well that are like showing all your subconscious fears and you might be, you know, all caught up in those two. So it's, it's giving that kind of a vibe with this person that they want to, you know, they want to reconcile. They want to get back together. They want to uh, commit. But it does it doesn't look like this is the shoe that, you know fits for you basically okay let's pick one last card this is amanda lovelace's believe in your own magic and that'll be the final card for the day this is for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus for february 7th to the 13th please what does sag need to know what does sag sun moon rising and venus need to know for february 7th to the 13th what does sagittarius sun moon rising and venus need to know for february 7th to the 13th All right, mirror, treat your body like the palace it is, number four. On the bottom, homeward, take yourself out on a date. These are really cute and they're really to 
they would they work very well these cards and uh, i like the positive messages and how they're short and sweet so let's read it you've been feeling self-conscious as of late but the answer isn't to change anything about yourself the answer is to learn to love the body you've been given avoid those crash diets that extreme exercise or any other unhealthy behavior Take strides toward a healthy mindset that accepts yourself as you are, not what you feel pressured to be. And then we have 42. Slow down. It's time to press pause and contemplate before the next leg of your journey. It's in those solitary, introspective moments where we learn the most interesting and eye-opening things about ourselves. Take yourself out on a date of sorts, even if it's just a quiet and cozy night at home enjoy your own company yeah so it's giving the vibe of taking care of yourself and getting your energy back up that's the four of swords that's that's the first two cards that came out the judgment popped out and uh four of swords clarified it which tells me there's some big news but that you're in healing mode so when and four of swords can come up as as well vacation staycation a trip because that's what people do when they're trying to heal and get their energy back up as well. So that's your reading stage. For the 7th to the 13th, I'm going to have Valentine's Day readings out separately. Thanks for watching. I'll be back shortly. Take care. Bye.